Hello, my name is Brian Keith. I'm with the University of Florida Libraries and I would like to thank you for your interest in the ARL Position Description Bank. In this presentation I'm going to provide some background on the Position Description Bank, its development timeline, and some of the design elements and functionality of the system. I will review uh, the user interfaces for uploading and maintaining position descriptions and metadata associated with those positions and for searching the collection of position descriptions. At the end of the presentation there's an invitation for you to participate in a survey that will be very important for the ARLPD Bank. ARL has sponsored the development of a system to establish a national bank of job descriptions and help institutions manage position descriptions. It will be developed by a UF team of which I'm the lead with broad input from other academic research libraries and will be hosted in perpetuity by the UF libraries. This is an ongoing resource and collection is, and is not simply a one-time effort to collect documents. The basic concepts behind the ARLPD bank are that position descriptions are an important element of human resources management if they are maintained, organized, and accessible, and our institutions expend effort managing these PDs through their archiving, the location and retrieving of these documents, monitoring and maintenance of the documents, and through their distribution. Uh, and also that institutions frequently solicit example PDs from other institutions, and the sharing of this information has value to libraries. The premise of the ARLPD Bank is that an effective free system that is developed in partnership will enhance or ease the management of position description and improve, and improve their usefulness to their institutions. This institutional value will lead to the adoption and use of the ARLPD Bank as a system and result in an industry-level collection of current and evolving descriptions of duties and the work that's performed at libraries. If searchable, this collection will improve the sharing of information about our industry and will benefit libraries. The ARL PD Bank will be developed over the course of 12 months. Uh, the planning phase, the implementation phase, and the launch phase will all be completed by March of 2013. The planning phase, which is currently taking place, includes the, an assessment of user needs and the development and vetting of the system specifications. This presentation is part of that process. The implementation phase, which will take place after uh, ALA annual conference, includes the development of the system and the development of support documentation, beta testing of the system, the solicitation and evaluation of feedback in order to uh, establish the final system and the user documentation to support it. The launch phase will begin in January of 2013 when the system becomes available for all institutions and will include um, a communication about the system and its features, uh, user support, and also an evaluation of how the system is performing. After the launch, institutional level value is provided uh, by improved document findability, access, and archiving, which enhances their use and maintenance to our institutions. The adoption of this system by our institutions to manage these PDs will result in the maintenance of the data and the materials over time as we continue to update and to, to use, use the system. The system itself will be a web application it will be simple, intuitive, and easy for a variety of users to interface with. The ability to customize at the institutional level based on uh, specific needs will also be an important design element. The system will not only co collect documents, but also metadata associated with those, which will be submitted and maintained by the institutions. Uh, this is a combination of externally viewable, and by externally we mean outside of the institution that has submitted it, and also uh, metadata that's for that institution's eyes only. The externally viewable is useful for searching the, uh, 
collection of position descriptions and the institutional level uh, institutions eyes only information is uh, useful f at that institution to manage their position descriptions and to interact with the system. Uh, the entire system will be keyword searchable. The documents will be uploaded and updated by the institutions and will be keyword searchable if they're either text, PDF, or Word documents. The documents uh, that we anticipate receiving include position descriptions, vacancy announcements, and uh, also activity or assignment reports. Depending upon what is used at the in that particular institution, um, and for that type of position. Uh, the, uh, the documents that are submitted uh, will have secure digital preservation. There is a, a certain amount of required metadata that uh, will be necessary to, in order to upload a position description that will be viewable by other institutions besides the one that submits it, and it will support the searching of the collection. Uh, it is intended that this be minimal and not onerous. There are six types of metadata. The first is that, that are required. The first is a working title. The second is uh, the percentage of FTE, whether it's a full or part-time position. Uh, the third is a position type, and that would be a choice of either a professional librarian, some other professional level position at the institution, or a support or paraprofessional salaried or exempt from overtime position, or a support or paraprofessional position that is not salaried and not exempt from overtime, or in rare instances a position that cannot be a position type that doesn't fit any of those categories. Uh, we will also require metadata that describes the appointment type, whether it's a tenure accruing or permanent status eligible position, whether it's a regular ongoing position but not tenure accruing or permanent status eligible, or whether it's a temporary or time limited position where the end date of that position is known. This would be, for example, a project uh, with a specific end date. This would not be for positions that have annual appointment. Those would go into the regular or tenure accruing permanent status eligible category. Uh, uh, alternative appointment type uh, could also be residency, fellowship, or internship. Institutions will also be required to indicate whether uh, this position primarily works in or reports through the law library, medical library, or other libraries at their institution. Uh, submitters will also be required to identify a functional area uh, that will uh, help in the searchability of the collection and they will be asked to identify all that apply to the position in question. Uh, and these range, uh, these categories of functional areas range from uh, some uh, general descriptions of managerial responsibility to uh, certain um, functional and technical uh, types of positions. And uh, all the way over on the right hand side, the last three which are in a, a slightly different background color, those are very broad categories that are expected to be used by institutions in the limited number of instances where one of the functional areas above uh, is inapplicable. There's also optional metadata that can be used by the institution as only viewable to those within that institution and it is for the purpose of supporting their position description management and their use of the system at the institutional level. There are a number of these fields that we think are, are likely to be uh, useful to individual institutions. They will not be required metadata, but because uh, we feel they're so likely to be used, we will pre-program them. These include uh, s some fields like employee name, supervisor name, rank and classification, position number, uh, and there will also be a field in which uh, the institution, if it chooses to, uh, can enter notes. All of these are optional, and if the institution opts only to submit the required metadata, uh, they do not have to use any other submit or maintain or uh, consider any other metadata fields. In addition to the pre-programmed fields, there will be 10 customizable fields uh, that the institution can select and uh, use. 
uh, that fit some need that was not anticipated uh, in the design of the system. The features of the system include the ability to upload other institutional level files. These would be files beyond the position description, the position vacancy announcement, or the uh, description of the annual assignment. Uh, from talking to other institutions, we understand this is a need, so it, it's part of the system. Uh, the system will archive and access previous version, uh, allow access a previous version of documents for a position. So if I have a current position uh, description that's being updated and I submit it, I will also have access to the previous version of that position description. Uh, the system will track submissions and modifications to records. It will capture the date and the user at the institution that modified it. The uh, system will support document forwarding, and it will also uh, support the establishment of review schedules at the discretion of the institution if that's something that is useful for them in their maintenance of position descriptions. There will also be the ability to differentiate uh, between vacant and filled positions. The search uh, features fall into two categories, and I'll go over those in just a moment. There's basic and advanced, and the idea is to ensure that, that this collection can be effectively searched in order for the searcher uh, to be able to find uh, the specific position descriptions that they're interested in. And as the position description bank grows over time, this will become uh, more, more important that this be done well. Uh, next, I'm going to show you uh, how the user will interface in the system. Uh, we're going to begin with adding of a new position. And this is the first tab, which is providing the standard metadata. And as you'll recall, there's six fields, working title through functional area, and uh, through clicking on buttons and radial buttons and filling text boxes, uh, this information would be provided by the institution. These are required of every position description that's uh, submitted. There's also, as we mentioned, optional institutional level metadata. Uh, in this instance, in this example of state prestigious university, uh, that institution has opted to have eight fields. And so when a position description is uploaded, uh, the uh, submitter is required by the institution to uh, complete these fields. Um, and so these would uh, have ones that I think we can anticipate that some institutions will be interested in, employee name and union eligibility. But what this example demonstrates is how, um, the, how these would be entered. And the purpose of this metadata, again, is to allow the institution to effectively organize, sort, categorize uh, the position descriptions based upon uh, certain features or to find, for example, by employee name. So in this example, if I wanted, for some reason, to uh, review all of my position descriptions for union eligibles within a specific department, it's possible for me to do that. Uh, the third tab in adding a new position is uh, the attachment of documents. And as we've mentioned, we'll accept position descriptions, vacancy announcements, or annual assignment documents, and the person very much like you would attach a, a document to an email, would, could browse to the document and, and attach it. Um, there's also the opportunity, as I mentioned, for there to be institutional level documents that are not required but are, are of interest to that institution. And uh, in this instance, uh, th those would also be attached through this tab. This uh, would only be uh, required at the discretion of the institution and it's quite likely many institutions will only submit these primary documents for the position description bank. Uh, the institutional level documents would not be viewed uh, by other institutions. Uh, that submission creates a record uh, for the position. And this is an example from State Prestigious University of a Digital Development and Web Unit Coordinator. That's the working title for the position. It is a, it's not a librarian, but it's another uh, professional level position. It's a regular ongoing appointment. It is not in a law or medical library, and its functional area is systems uh, information technology. So this represents the required metadata. 
There's also, in this example, state prestigious university has opted to collect institutional metadata, such as the employee name, the supervisor name, the rank, and uh, all the way to the next date for review. And um, also uh, depicted in the record are the documents that are part of the uh, searchable collection. In this instance, there's a position description. It shows who um, it, the file name, uh, the date it was either, uh, the date it was last modified and its type. And the, in this instance, there's a position vacancy announcement. In this example, uh, State Prestigious University always also tracks uh, some document that they've described as an advertisement. And so this is depicted as not viewable by other institutions. It's through this record that the institution would edit the, and maintain the metadata manage the documents associated with this position, and could also email uh, the position if they chose to. We next move on to the uh, interfaces for searching. Uh, there are two types, basic and advanced, and we'll begin with basic. The idea of the basic is to have a powerful tool that's as easy and straightforward and simple to use as possible. So the only two things that need to take place are determining whether you're interested in searching the entire collection or only your institution. This user is logged in from State Prestigious University so that their institution field um, is indicated here. Uh, there's a, the option for doing a keyword search and for searching either anywhere in the record or in any of the six fields uh, that are um, part of the required metadata. So this is base, basic, straightforward, and simple to use. There are also advanced search options. And in the advanced search options, it's easiest to think of two kinds. First, an institutional level advanced search or a global uh, advanced search. Uh, we know this is an institutional level because the user is identified. The user from State Prestigious University has selected their institution through this radial button. And it includes uh, the ability to do keyword search on two fields and to also identify functional areas, appointment type, and position type. This uh, will come from the required metadata. But in that this is an institutional level, the system will also give them immediate searching access to the fields that they have identified to use at their institution. In this case, name, position number, and department. And so this is an advanced search. It's still straightforward and easy to, to navigate around. Uh, but it allows uh, for the person to really um, be very specific about the sort of document they're looking for. There's also advanced searches that are global, and by that we mean that they search the entire collection, all institutions, not just the home institution. And here you'll see uh, the required metadata are the primary search features, but there's also, uh, including the library type, but there are also some institutional characteristics that are part of the profile for each institution that participates in the ARLPD bank. They will either be identified as private or public, and the region of, uh, in which the institution is located will also be in their uh, institutional profile. We will use the ARL regions that are used in the uh, ARL annual salary survey. And for example, the University of Florida uh, is in Florida and that is the South Atlantic. Um, so uh, again, this uh, would not have um, search access to any of the institutional, uh, institutionally elected uh, metadata fields. And so here's an example of an advanced search at the global level. And in this instance, we're looking for a position that anywhere in the record, in any of the fields or in the documents themselves, uses the terms technology or technical. We've limited the search to the functional area of systems information technology. And uh, we uh, are interested in any appointment type, all position types. And uh, in this search, we're only interested in those from law libraries, not medical or, or other libraries. And we're only interested in public institutions. We're interested in all regions of the United States and Canada. And so these are the results of that search. Uh, this is the standard search results uh, screen. Uh, and 
it, at the top, it shows the terms that were used that resulted in these results. Uh, and so this came up with seven positions. Um, and uh, each column uh, in the search results field uh, can be either hidden, uh, minimized, or can be used to sort uh, the results. So in this instance, I could sort by institution or appointment type. Uh, and uh, there's a, uh, also a facets uh, section on the left hand of the screen uh, that also um, shows uh, the, uh, the types of uh, institution, position type, appointment type, uh, the uh, required metadata, and allows either to sort or to uh, narrow the results by uh, interacting with these um, facets of the search results. Uh, by clicking uh, on a checkbox for one or more of the results, I'm also able to perform actions on them, including forwarded the, forwarding the selected position, downloading it, or um, opening the selected positions and reviewing them. So to summarize, the ARL PD Bank uh, will enhance the management of position descriptions and associated documents and improve their usefulness to institutions. The use of the system by institutions will result in an industry-level collection of job descriptions, and the effective searchability of that collection will provide us with information about our industry, and it will benefit libraries in general. Again, I'd like to thank you for your interest in the ARL Position Description Bank. I would also like to invite you to contribute to the design of the system by participating in a very brief survey about uh, characteristics of, of your institution as they relate to um, the use of the ARL PD Bank. And uh, in the event that you have any questions or comments regarding the ARL PD Bank, uh, the UF team would certainly welcome them. Please feel free to contact myself or Bonnie Smith via the email that's uh, on this slide or by telephone at the number provided on this slide. On behalf of ARL and the University of Florida team, I'd like to thank you very much for your time.